It started as an anonymous fax, which scrolled into the office of then Chatham County Manager Russ Abolt. Scrawled on the cover page the word Abolt and his fax number. Quote, OIG federal investigations going on now at Memorial on federal money paid to Memorial. Memorial paying excessive money to doctors. Against the law. Three auditors over at Memorial now. It was December 2011, and the accusations in the 19-page fax were detailed and alarming. And they matched what we learned this summer, when federal prosecutors joined a federal civil complaint against Memorial for an alleged Medicare payment kickback scheme with local doctors to boost referrals and revenue. Then County Manager Abel forwards the document to the nine members of the county commission and his top three deputies. Abel, quote, I forward it for your information, unquote. But the tone and timing of the facts was not a simple FYI, because while federal auditors were pouring over Memorial's Medicare billing practices, the hospital was asking Chatham County for a loan in the form of a $183 million bond issue. Commissioners and county staff negotiate with the hospital new terms for indigent care, inmate care, and a new structure to the hospital board. They make Memorial carry a reserve fund to pay a year of bond payments even if they were to default, and they hire a third-party firm to analyze the hospital's finances and ability to pay. But not once on the record, in any of their due diligence, does a single county commissioner ask about Memorial's exposure to lawsuits, and neither does the staff as confirmed by new county manager Lee Smith last week. In fact, County Finance Director Linda Kramer herself last week admitted to News 3 in an email that she got more than anonymous accusations. She says Memorial Hospital itself informed her of the investigation. But Kramer writes, quote, no civil penalties were discussed, unquote. It's anyone's guess what will happen, but the potential financial liability is huge. The feds this month released more than 400 pages of what they say are fraudulent charges to Medicare. If liable, civil penalties for the thousands of claims combined could be 80 to $130 million. But in March of 2012, despite these warnings and without asking of the potential penalties, the commission approved the bond issue unanimously. Not a single commissioner asked about the memo sent to them with the allegations or about any exposure to lawsuits. And when reached last week, none of them remembered the memo at all. 7th District Commission Dean Kicklider, quote, I had no clue. 2nd District Commissioner James Holmes, quote, I only learned the accusations against Memorial from the newspaper, unquote. And then Commissioner now Judge Harris O'Dell, who took the bond issue to the county, he admitted he knew some of the accusations against Memorial because he served on the hospital authority board before telling me, quote, how would that make anything different today, unquote. But by last week's county commission meeting, three of the commissioners who still serve on the board told an identical story. Because it was from an anonymous source, uh, I didn't give it a whole lot of credibility. If there was no signature, it really didn't put any credibility towards it. When I get a memo that's not signed, I don't put a lot of weight or value on it. When I was a county commissioner, I was very skeptical of anonymous complaints, but this one seemed to have enough substance to it that the county manager should have taken the time to analyze it. Katie Sorensen is the chief executive officer at the University of Miami's Good Government Initiative. She served on the Miami-Dade County Commission for 16 years. She's most troubled by the fact that just three years earlier, Memorial settled a nearly identical complaint with the feds for five million dollars. But I think what the question for the constituents is, who's minding the store? As early as 2009, a full two years before they would ask Chatham County for a $183 million bond issue, Memorial Hospital appeared to have a problem. The details come from a civil complaint joined by the federal government earlier this month. November 2009, Memorial's board calls a meeting of their Personnel and Compensation Committee to discuss their alleged overpayment of doctors. Board member Michael Kegler asks how, quote, losing a million dollars a month on physician practices would affect the hospital. The following year, May 2010, Kegler helps the hospital devise a new payment plan, which physicians reject. Committee minutes, also in the Fed's complaint, recognize the hospital is overpaying doctors. Kegler, quote, wants to see the worst case scenarios of revenues if doctors leave the hospital and the hospital loses referrals. 
that these are the actions of a Memorial Hospital board member are not surprising. But Michael Kegler was and still is Chatham County's assistant county manager. I think there's a stunning lack of transparency in what I consider to be good government. There are lots of people with pieces of information who should have passed it on and didn't. And yet, by December 2011, just weeks after Memorial asked Chatham County to help it refinance its debt by underwriting that $183 million bond issue, Kegler opts to step aside from the hospital, that is, telling the county attorney in a memo, quote, in order to be fair to the county as well as Memorial and not give the appearance of any conflict, unquote. And yet, when we requested, Chatham County could turn up no correspondence or work product informing county commissioners of the potential civil penalties the hospital could face for alleged Medicare fraud. When I contacted Assistant County Manager Kegler to ask him about these apparent conflicts, he told me I had my timeline wrong. Well, when I asked him about his actions on the memorial board, he referred me to the hospital's attorneys, even though he works for the county and no longer serves on the memorial board. Left unclear, we confronted Kegler in the hallway outside commission chambers, where he immediately removed himself behind the door of his office. I didn't find any communication about what you found while serving on the memorial board to your superior, Mr. Abel, to any of the commissioners. Did you did you convey any of that information? I, I discussed it with Mr. Abel, so that's... that's uh... How? How did you discuss it with him? We, did talk, we talked about it. That's, that's... In fact, new county manager Lee Smith confirmed to News 3 last week he couldn't find any correspondence from anyone about the potential exposure to civil penalties for alleged Medicare fraud. And finance director Linda Kramer told News 3 directly that when Memorial told her of the investigation, quote, no civil penalties were discussed, unquote. All of these issues should have been raised and passed on to the county commission uh, so that they could have made a, a fully informed decision. But in March of 2012, two and a half years after the feds say Kegler started helping Memorial change its compensation to doctors, the Chatham County Commission unanimously approved the $183 million bond issue for the hospital. According to the complaint, Memorial now faces up to 80 to $130 million in civil penalties if they're found liable in federal court. And if federal penalties send Memorial into default on the bond, Chatham County taxpayers would be on the hook for the balance, $167 million still outstanding, or some $17 million a year for more than a decade. I'm Dave Cartoonin, WSAV News 3.